Hey guys, my name is Jamin. This is my channel PC Monkey, where I try to bring you a wide variety of computer do it yourself upgrade and repair videos. In this video, I'm going to show you how to power wash or factory reset your HP Chromebook computer. Before we begin, a couple quick things. First, please remember to like and share if this video helped you out. And if you enjoy do it yourself computer content like this, please subscribe. Second and last thing, a quick shout out to my sponsor, NiceHash. NiceHash is the world's largest hash power marketplace. What that means for you is you can now rent out your computer's unused and idle power online to people who mine cryptocurrency and they pay you for that in Bitcoin. It's a great way to earn some money on the side with a computer you already have. Uh, check out this link for more information or I'll fill you in more at the end of the video. So now let's get into the project. So now let's show you two different ways you can factory reset your Chromebook. Okay, so the first way to factory reset this computer involves a four key combo. Maybe you've already tried this. It's Control, Alt, Shift, and R. Uh, one trick here though is that some computers won't let you just click on all of those at once. You've got to do them one at a time, ending with the R key. So you do Control, Alt, Shift, R. And as you can see, that will kickstart reset this Chrome device and you would hit this button that says power wash. So if you guys are not getting this result from that key combo, again, try clicking on them one at a time. Control first, Alt second, Shift third, R last, and it should kick you in, into here. If that doesn't get you where you need to go for whatever reason, that's not working, we're gonna try another key combo. Uh, it's a three key combo. You're gonna hit your escape key, your refresh key, which is the circular arrow, and then your power button. So we're gonna go escape, refresh, power. And now I'm gonna hold that key combo until the computer turns on. Some of you may have to hold that key combo, the computer will turn off, but then it won't turn on. You would then let go of those keys, wait a few seconds, and then press those keys again all at once. Escape, refresh, power. And again, if it doesn't work all at once, do them one at a time. Escape first, refresh, then power. You'll notice on this screen, there'll be a hyperlink down there. I will have that in the description below the video, um, and I'll mention what that's for later in, in this video once, once I'm done with the resets. So now that we're at this page here, it says Chrome OS is missing or damage. Please insert a recovery USB or SD card. We're just gonna hit Control and D. To turn OS verification off, press Enter. We're gonna hit Enter. Uh, press space to enable. We're going to hit space. And then lastly, we'll hit enter one more time. Your system will reboot and local data will be cleared. And there it goes. So after the computer restarted, we're back at the original screen where it's looking for a Wi-Fi network. You would then sign into the Wi-Fi network and set up your Chromebook. I hope one of those two ways helped you out. Again, that URL that I pointed out, that will be in the description below. That's if neither one of these reset options work, your operating system is too corrupt to allow for a factory reset, you would have to reinstall the operating system. Uh, and in the next video where I use that URL, I'll show you how to reinstall the operating system onto this Chromebook. And if you have any questions or comments, check out the FAQs below in the description. It could save you some time getting an answer. If you don't see it there, leave me a question. I try to get back to you guys a couple times a day at least. And before we go, as promised, a few words on my sponsor, NiceHash. As I stated in the beginning of the video, NiceHash is the world's largest hash power marketplace. And what that means for you, again, is you can now sell or rent out your computer's unused power online to crypto miners, and you get paid for that in Bitcoin. It's a great way to put your computer to work while you're not working, and it's a real way to investigate the world of crypto with no risking to lose your investment. You already own the computer. I'm not saying to go out and buy a rig for mining, uh, but you already own the computer. Most likely, like all of us, it's more powerful than anything you need day to day, and it's a great way to put that to work to earn you some Bitcoin and to start playing around in that world, investigating what it's all about. So again, you can click on this link for more info, leave me a question or comment. Thank you so much for watching guys and I look forward to seeing you on my next video.